welcome, welcome, welcome into the channel, YouTube. And this channel, typically what we talk about is all things real estate, real estate investing done right. And we're throwing some entrepreneur trips, uh, tips and tricks that you can learn along the way and allow you to scale your business and ultimately grow a business that makes you money and give you the lifestyle that you ultimately hope. So with that being said, today's topic for discussion is just going to be an update on real estate, right? The Houston real estate market. We're going to dive deep and take a look at the numbers. Right, the Houston real estate market is acting very, very resilient right now, and I'm very impressed by what it actually has to offer. So let's jump right into the numbers and take a look at it. So let's take a look at the numbers. So we jump right off. Obviously, this is a graph is always going to show you the year before, which is obviously July 2019 and versus July 2020. The changes. Let's start with the first category: property sales, total property sales. Let's look at last year, July 10,000. 434 now we're looking at 13,000 property sales which is 25 percent increase now i'll be honest with you i think that's the case because of coronavirus right there was a lot of the lag and you guys will see this in the uh, previous videos of three uh, months uh, two months pr prior but essentially there's a lot of lag right now a lot of people want to get it before august right the school systems always show up and then uh, essentially kids going back to school nobody want to move there's a lot always a drop off from this month to next month so i'll be excited to see what august says but essentially i think right now the three thousand increase the 25 percent increase is due to uh people being fearful of shutting down covid and the loans and all that good stuff so a lot of people are scrambling to make it happen right but ultimately what that tells you is people are buying right now so if you're an investor here's an opportunity for you to actually go in and take advantage of what's happening right now and get these properties uh sold make them a little bit nice spruce them up and get them sold right total volume dollar my goodness we are up tremendously we are up tremendously as far as total volume um uh which is which is great for everybody it means prices are going up total active listings uh, this time last year we had 44,000 active listings this time this year we have 36,000 active listings so we look at July's numbers increase in actual sales from 10,000 to 13,000 but look at the inventory right the inventory dropped almost 8,000 almost 9,000 um, houses that was actually listed so that tells me that people are eager to go buy and people are buying like crazy and the best part about it it's not that much inventory to go around right so this time last year it wasn't in many sales but more homes for sale supply and demand is going to drive this price up i'm pretty sure of it so let's let's get to it hey, hey, hey. make sure you like the video if, if you like real estate investing entrepreneurship this is the channel for you go ahead and subscribe while you're at it and hit the notification bell let's jump right back into it uh, single family home sales. So obviously we got 10,000 as, compo as compared to um, um, basically essentially 9,000 compared to 11,000. Really, if you round both of those numbers up. So an increase of 23% there. Single family average sales price, boom, up 20 grand. My goodness. The crazy thing about it, um, Houston is going up in price, baby. Houston is going up in price. I love it. Every All, all you people in Houston, uh, you Houstonians, uh, you guys should be very, very excited because equity is being made today, right? You guys should be excited. 8.5% increase. Sounds like a great market to buy and hold real estate. $20,000 uh, increase in one year, almost $30,000 in one year. That's a great, great sign to hold some real estate there. Single family median sales price, two fifty, two seventy one, twenty thousand dollars dollars $20,000 price difference right there. Now let's look at this number. Single family months of inventory. 4.2 months of inventory last year this time this year this time is three months my goodness homes are flying off the shelf like i said if you can just make these particular properties nice people will come in and buy them straight off the shelf and it's an opportunity for you to actually make money you see the prices up not a lot of inventory right you can literally name your price and get your property sold that's the best thing about this Pending houses for sale last year, this time, this time around, eight, 8,300. Now we're looking at 11,000, up 33.9%. Man, Houston, Houston is, um, they're on fire right now, right? Much like the Rockets before uh, Westbrook got hurt, right? Uh, ho hopefully this, this real estate market don't reflect the Houston Rockets. 
but if, if, if the rockets in the bubble right now that's exactly what uh this houston real estate market is looking like so man these are exciting numbers hopefully this brings some value but let's jump right back to it hey so you tell me exactly what you thought about the real estate market what is it telling you as far as the numbers how you think corona has impacted these numbers so far and let me know exactly if you got a market that you're in that you want me to actually add value and do a um uh, uh, analysis on your particular market let me know that way i can go get the data and i can let you know exactly what's happening is it a good market to buy is it a bad market to buy all that type of stuff so definitely keep winning